Before we start, we need to add the final two bays to the drawing, where the brackets are to be placed. There are a couple of ways of adding brackets to bays. The first way that we'll look at is placing the hop-up bracket to a specific level of the bay. To do this, we first select the bay, and then go into the bay level editor. Here you can choose a level you'd like the hop-up or bracket on, and go into the cantilever field, and then you can select the side you wish to apply it to. To change the size of the bracket, select the bracket, and change it the same way as you would a bay. Now we can repeat the same process again by picking the second bay, again the level, the side you want the bracket on, and this will once more add the bracket to this drawing. Before we look at the second method of adding brackets, we'll now remove the brackets from the two bays. This time we're going to select multiple bays. And within the side settings, we're going to select the side that we want the brackets to be placed. We can change the size of the bracket through here, and we can also tell it which level we want these to be placed. In this example, we're going to place them on every level. This is a quick way of applying hop-ups and brackets, and even though it isn't as specific as adding them to individual levels, it does have the advantage of being able to select entire walls and apply them to every bay. Finally, to finish the example, we'll select the hop-ups and we'll turn off the inside guardrails. And then we'll select the end hop-up and this time we'll put the right guardrail back onto it. This now completes the example.